Hi everyone, welcome back. I have picked the weirdest place in my house to film this video, so it's too hot to film without AC, but the AC is humming so loud, you're gonna be like, is that a vibrator? The entire time. So, I've picked like a central area, right under the staircase, to film this. Also, we just got a dog, so if you hear a little skittering, that's her, Betty Spaghetti. Um, but I just have four things I've accumulated over the past like month or so. Torrid was doing, I think, hot cash, but their shipping has been, you know, delayed, which I'm okay with. Um, so I have a Torrid hot cash haul, and then I picked up one thing from Eloquy because why not? So we'll start with the Eloquy item. Do I need a blazer? No. Did I buy one in lavender? Yes. So I've had my eye on this tan Eloquy blazer for a while and it's always sold out or it's like super expensive, like $150 expensive, which we all know is not my deal. Um, so then I saw this purple one and I was like, that could be fun. And I've been watching this YouTuber and naturally I'm blanking on her name, but she sews a lot and she lives in a camper, but she wore like a pastel oversized kind of blazer and I'm like, that looks really cute on her. I have to copy it. So I saw this one and it was on sale for probably $70 and I forget what it was from, but I had this Eloquy coupon. It was 50% off one item and free shipping and I'm like, I gotta save that for like the perfect time and I'm very happy that I used it on this because there's been a lot of really good sales at Eloquy, but their shipping minimum is I think $125 and I'll like stock up on like $12 shirts and $25 dresses and I'm still not at $125 and I don't really want to like waste money to get there only to return I don't know it's a whole song and dance I'm like if you made your shipping minimum even one day a month $75 I'd be shopping there more often um, I think it's a whole mind game anyways I've started talking about this jacket a thousand years ago so I wanted something mildly oversized not comically like Danny DeVito wearing like your dad's jacket kind of thing. Well, I don't know what that reference was. Twins, I think? I don't know. Um, but not like goofy oversized, but like that perfect amount of oversized. And this checks off all the boxes. So I got this one in a size 16. It is made out of like Ponty material, so it does have stretch. So if like your arms or like your back, if that's like an issue with you in other blazers, you should be good in this because it does have a stretch material. Again, I love the lilac color. It's something different. It's not like, you know, a boring black, although I do love boring black and that basic camel. Whenever that goes on sale, it might happen. Um, but I'm really happy I got to try it out for $35. So this, to me, is expensive, but I know Eloquy is good quality. I have things from Eloquy from like 2015 that still look brand new, and I got to use free shipping on it, so I feel like I got a pretty good deal. Knowing how much these go for, to be paying $35 even, I'm pretty happy with that. And once I put this on, I was elated with the fit of this. Um, it does have shoulder pads, and looking at these now, I'm like, ooh, designing women vibes. Um, but they don't look funny or linebackery once it's on. It just gives the shoulder a really nice structure. So I'm gonna keep these in, actually. I really like how that looks. And it also helps shape the rest of the jacket. Um, like I said, it's a little bit relaxed. It's not tight, it's not oversized, but it has that like nice relaxed fit. So you're not like fat man in a low coat busting out of it, but it does have like a nice fall to it. I really like the length of this. Hits me like mid butt, like it. it. Does have one button. If you prefer it buttoned, you can button. Um, but I like it just hanging regularly. But when it is buttoned, it's not like busting at the seams. It's a really nice relaxed button fit. So again, I got this in a size 16 and I'm very, very happy with how it fits and how it looks. I just need a job to go with it. Okay, next is all my Torrid hot cash stuff. So I got three items and I spent a total of $44, which is pretty much like one shirt goes for. So I think I did pretty good with that. Um, obviously Torrid hot cash, you kind of get it to 50% off. And then I almost always have the $10 off coupon. So that's what got it so low, but I'm gonna show you what I got. So the first thing is this yellow cold shoulder, but kind of looking off the shoulder kind of a tip. There we go, cold shoulder t-shirt with a tie up on the bottom. For a second, I was like, I don't know. I'm not like the biggest fan of cold shoulders. I feel like that trend has passed. But I was like, this is a really cute, easy summer top. And once I put it on, I was like, okay, this is great. I've already worn this a couple times. I paired it with my overalls, look super cute. Paired it with the yellow headband, look super cute. When I pair it all together and with my yellow purse, I'm getting like strong art teacher vibes, but I kind of like it. So yeah, this can be worn on its own with jean shorts or leggings or something, or you could pair it with an overall or something. Like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of a cold shoulder look. 
Um, and this strappy situation, the straps, like, no matter what you do, will not align with any bra. So for me, when I did the try-on, I just kind of, like, pushed my regular bra straps to the side. You could do a strapless bra kind of thing if you want, but even if you've got, like, a skinny strapped bra, these are too narrow to really even lay with your bra. Like, it's never gonna align, so I don't really love the straps here, but if you have a strapless bra, or if you're just like, fuck it, it's straps, whatever, then you'll be fine, and that's kind of like, my vibe. I love this golden color. It's perfect for summer. This is also going to transition really nicely into fall. It matches my one headband that I have left because the other one's broke because my head is so big. Um, another thing I was a little worried about is this tie at the bottom. I thought it would kind of be like a hammock for my gut, like a little tie right at the bottom of your gut. But luckily that didn't happen. It has a nice, loose, relaxed fit, so it didn't hug and accentuate things that I didn't want it to. This just lays really nicely on me. And this top part is super stretchy if that's something you're worried about, but there is a ton of room in here. So I took the tag off. I don't remember how much this goes for, probably like $42, because that's usually the price point for a Torrid top. I paid $13.26 for the shirt. So even though I don't like love it, I only paid $13 for it. And it's like a good, easy summer shirt, you know? Okay, the next shirt I got ended up being the most expensive thing in this haul. So it goes for $59.50 US dollars. I paid $17.16, a steal, but I'm kind of on the fence about this. So it's a white floral peasant top. I had a top like this a few years ago, loved it. This one just looks a little too maternity on me. Very, very billowy, which I like and I wanted, but it just like fell on me a little too tenty. Um, but I do love the details on this. So um, there is lattice work along the front end on the arm cuffs, but it has mesh behind it. So it's not like just your skin under the mesh. I think that's a really, really pretty detail. And then that carries through mid arm. And then you got a little like poet sleeve here. Super, super pretty top, but just on me, I don't know. I didn't like love it and I was hoping I would love it. I got this in a 1X. Maybe sizing down to a zero might be beneficial to me. I'll still have like a nice billowy kind of look with it being a little bit more fitted. So that's a possibility. I think I am going to return this one. Let me know what you think. This didn't work on me, but I can totally see it working for literally everyone else. This is such a cute top. I just don't think it laid right on me. Um, another thing I don't love is a seam that hits right here, so right at the top of your boobs. I've had other tops that did this, and it just creates a weird look on my boobs. It like smooshes, not smooshes, but makes them a shelf. It, I just don't like, it like bubbles them out. It's not a good look for me. This is such a good like easy throw on work top. This will work with jeans, this will work with ponty pants, leggings. This is really cute and boho, but for me, I just looked a little pregnant. Actually, I looked a lot pregnant, so I don't know. Let me know if I should keep this or not, because even just like returning it, I'm like, I'm only getting back $17. Is it worth it? I don't know. It's so nicely constructed though, but I don't know. I just feel kind of funny when I wear it, so we'll see. Okay, finally, I got a pair of shorts, and these go for $49.50, and I paid $14.42. If you're an extreme couponer like me, your head is like, hell yeah. Um, so these are super cute. I've been loving those like paper bag waist kind of pants. And I was like, let's translate it into shorts. So I saw these dusty pink ones with white stripes and I was like, okay, this is so cute, perfect for summer. I was kind of expecting a like stretchy ponty kind of material. This is not that material. This is definitely more structured. So they don't have as much give as I was expecting, but these still fit really well. So I got these in a size 16. I really like how they fit. I will leave all my measurements down below as usual. I like where they hit on me. They hit me in a really good place on my thigh where it wasn't too short that they would have ride up and look kind of diapery. And it wasn't too long. So I don't look like a Disney cast member. It was like in a really nice little sweet spot. Um, for me, I carry a lot of my weight right on my stomach and like lower gut. So that paper bag kind of look one might get, I don't really get because the fabric is laying completely flat on my fat. Um, so if you have a smaller waist, you might actually get a paper bag kind of look, but for me, it just kind of lays flat, but I don't mind that. Has a nice little tie up belt included. Um, I just think this is really cute. I love the color on this. I'm definitely gonna pair it with 
my torrid black bodysuit and my torrid denim jacket that I wear literally every day if I'm not sweating my tits off. So I think that's gonna be a really cute look. It's like a nice reprieve from denim shorts, you know? It looks like you tried just like a little bit harder. So I really like these. Again, I got them in a size 16 and I think they fit really well. I did like walk in place to see if they would ride up and they didn't. They stayed where they needed to be on my thigh. And that's always a plus because chub rub might actually kill me one day. Okay, so that was it, only four items, but I'm trying to be a little bit more, I guess, slow with my consumption and spending and stuff. Um, Fashion Nova does wanna do a little collab, and I brought this up in the past of me getting my friends to pick outfits for me, and some people in the comments were like, we'll pick them for you. So, here's your chance, if you wanna pick out Anything from Fashion Nova Curve for me to try on, whether it be like wacky or just something like you kind of want but you want to see it on a body, leave the link down below. I'll put an order for it. But I think it'll be fun for you guys to get a little bit more involved. Um, so, Betty, would you like to make an appearance? Little baby. Where is she? She's so, she blends into everything. So this is Betty Spaghetti. You can't even see her. As always, my measurements will be down below. All the links to these items will be down below. My links will be down below, and please leave me in the comments the link to anything from Fashion Nova that you want me to try. It'll be fun, I hope. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!